fucking kidding me? You're gonna sit here and tell me this isn't the insult to Twice and to K-pop in general? Okay, let's break that down real quick. Let's just break that down. Like, <laughs> woo! I'm ready to expose. <laughs> Okay, I am I just needed some spiritual cleansing before I go into what I'm going to be talking about. What's up, Crackhead Nation? So today I have an article. So <laughs> I'm fine. I'm rational. I'm a stable human being. <laughs> What's going to be stable? <laughs> this is not the video for you then. So I don't know if you've heard about this, but there was an, um, let's call this person a journalist because I think that's what they're supposed to be i don't know if they're acting like one but they're supposed to be and there was a journalist who if you guys don't know twice they're a nine member korean girl group one of the members was unable to attend the world tour I saw them in chicago which was their last stop on the tour and so i heard about this article before i saw them in chicago because it came out on the 22nd and the concert that i saw them at was on the 23rd but I didn't really want to get into it or talk about it because I didn't, I just heard that someone made a article calling Twice a flop. And since Twice isn't one of my main groups, I just, I was like, oh, that sucks. But you know, I just kind of moved on from it. So now that I've actually seen the concert, I wanted to read the article and basically go through it, see what's really wrong. Are people being overreactionary? Um, is this just another case of American media not understanding K-pop and just being xenophobic? We'll figure it out. So let's just start the article. The title is K-pop sensation twice was a big fluffy flop at first New Jersey concert review. So this is a concert review by probably some white dude with glasses. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to say his name or anything because um, you can find the, <laughs> you can find the article. Of course, the first thing that I see in this article that is wrong and that a lot of like outlets, not just in America, but in the Western hemisphere or basically in a, any country that isn't in Asia gets wrong is that the first sentence, you know, you want to know what the first sentence is? You want to know what the first sentence is in an article about twice the nine member Korean pop girl group? The first sentence says, BTS has spoiled us. BTS has spoiled us. And then they have a whole fucking paragraph about BTS and how amazing they were and how they headlined met life and do 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 so amazing. Okay, look, I'm an army, but this is the type of shit that really pisses me off. When these articles, like, since K-pop is like, like growing in popularity and it's like, you know, like almost reaching its peak when it comes to popularity in the West, when it comes to like mainstream media, like they all just talk about BTS. They all talk about BTS, like even when they have nothing to do with it. It happens so much. It's just so frustrating. And even as an army, it's really frustrating because you know as a K-pop fan that that's not all what K-pop is. And there's a whole, this whole paragraph, the first sentence and the first paragraph of this article about twice is about BTS. So let me just read you the paragraph. So basically, um, apparently, um he went to see bts at medlife um and it said he, he says i'm sorry i can't even talk so i'm just like oh it was easy to understand why the seven member group was popular enough to fill fifty five thousand seats while singing mostly in korean blah 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 okay the dance routines were polished the vocal performances were impassioned and strong and even if the group like most others were largely manufactured by entertainment gurus in south korea for mass appeal there was still an edge and discernibility discernible identity to the band members okay so you know this whole first paragraph is basically sucking bts's dick which is like i mean <laughs> hey why not? Like BTS are talented and amazing, but that has nothing to do with this. This has nothing to do with twice. This has nothing to do with once. This has like, you know what I mean? Like, am I just, am I, am I crazy? Like, am I just, am I just, okay. But then he goes on to say, yet such is apparently not the case for every commercial juggernaut that conquers Korean charts and soon headline states for an oversized American introduction. I don't know. I feel like that was kind of like an insult. Like, I don't know. I felt like that. 
Ha, huh, okay, so basically, first of all, they compared twice to One Direction and Fifth Harmony because they, they were winners of 16, which was a JYP reality show, which was nothing like The X Factor, thank you very much. Um, but obviously, <laughs> Mr. Mr. White Dude with Glasses or whoever this guy is probably did not research that thoroughly before starting this. He goes on to say, but this fluffy flop was far from the scrumptiously man manicured image twice showcases in its sugary music videos where not a hair nor swipe of eyeliner is out of place. While these young women aged 20 to 23 generally look the part Sunday, donning Donning the array of colorful costumes and smiling relentlessly on the big screen, each member had her own camera positioned to her every move. The two hour plus concert was light on passion or any exceeding talent that would warrant 2.5 billion views on YouTube. So basically he's saying that Twice cannot carry a concert, even though they've, <laughs> even though they're like legendary, but you know, okay. And so he posts videos, he posts like, um, videos from the concert on his Instagram page. And obviously like once his like, attacked him i mean like i'm not saying it's okay but i'm just saying like that's kind of like an obvious thing that happens now um and so he said while the dance routines were reasonably intricate boistered by six backup dancers on the most upbeat numbers the moves weren't nearly as crisp at what it typically expected from a top flight arena pop show so beside basically he was saying like momo was the only person that could actually dance he called the other girls not natural dancers Ba like, I don't know if we went to the same tour. I don't know if we went on the same tour, but when I saw it twice, they had a lot of energy. They were very synchronized. I don't know, maybe this is like an off day for them, but the videos that he shows, they're actually doing really good. So like, I don't, I don't know. And I feel like the problem that he's doing that that this person is like having is that it's not like bts where it's like extremely synchronized extremely like this and that and this and i'm just like i want you to think about the fact that bts and twice are not the same thing at all like they make completely different music their concepts are completely different their their companies market them and manufacture them in completely different ways whether whether we want to believe it or not Twice is not marketed like a BTS archetype. BTS is not marketed like a Twice archetype. They're in two completely separate genres in K-pop. So just like the fact that he's like, well, like first of all, he starts the whole the whole article about BTS and how great they were and all this and all this and that and those. And then I feel like he's basically comparing BTS and their performance to Twice. Which, and in turn, that's just not necessary because they're not the same thing. Just because they have, just because of their Korean pop, that's like, okay, that's kind of like going to a concert for like day six after you saw BTS. And then after the day six concert, you're like, that wasn't, I didn't like that. It didn't, they didn't have enough energy. What, where were the dances? Where was the, where was this? Where was this specific thing that I saw in BTS? I mean, it's K-pop, right? No, it's not just K-pop. Each group has their own strengths and weaknesses, their talents. And him sitting over here being like, well, they needed backup dancers and none of them are natural dancers except for Momo. It's like, yeah, no shit. Like she's the lead dancer. Like, yeah, okay. Like they all train really hard. Like same with BTS, like obviously, First of all, BTS has been a group longer than Twice has. And second of all, like I was just going to say, obviously, not every member of BTS is a natural dancer either. So, I mean, all of them had to train really hard to even be in the position that they're in now, especially like Jin. So, I... It's, just, it's, it's not correlating. It's not making any sense. We're just going to continue. We're just going to move on. Because I could literally talk about that all day. Wow. But he says here, beyond a few simple phrases and the English they learned in order to dole out contrived covers of Jackson 5's I Want You Back and Lady Gaga was born this way, the women all spoke, the women all spoke through an interpreter who tried to keep up as they lightly joked with each other. Okay. Urging the crowd to scream, asking if the audience liked the song. Okay. Okay. You know, and this is, this is like, 
Isn't this normal? Like for a concert, for people to be like, so did you like that? Like, what's good? And then the, the audience screams. And then the guy has the nerve to say, yes, ladies, the building is literally shaking with shrieks. You're fine. It's like, it's like him. It's like his version of being like, yeah, we get it. Like, they're all here for you. Chill out, girl. Like, I, he's, they're just hyping up the crowd. Like, what, what do you want them to say? You want them to just be like, okay, so the next song is Fancy You. Like, get, get your light sticks out. Um, put them on Bluetooth mode. Like, like, what, do, what, what do you expect? Like, this is just, like, nitpicking to the maximum. And contrived covers of I Want You Back and Born This Way. First of all, I heard that Na Young actually wanted that subunit to do to do Born This Way for a specific reason. So I don't really like, I don't like that wording of like contrived covers. Now I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't look at the set list beforehand. So when I heard I Want You Back by the Jackson 5, I was like, I did not expect that, but I thought it was cute. Like I didn't see anything wrong with it. Like, and their English was pretty good. It's obvious, like this guy doesn't even understand what he's talking about because it's like, they're doing this to show, it's twice lights. They're supposed to be doing different type of things. They had the subunits, they had um, Jihyo, and um, I, God, I forgot the other member who was doing the Tame and uh, with, Want with Jihyo. I think it was Momo, I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry if I messed that up, but my bad. <laughs> I appreciate sure it was um GQ and Momo who's doing like the want by Taman cover and then you had um the other unit doing dance for you which like oh my god like uh, I'm so gay for that and then you had Na Young and the other and like the unit that she's in doing Born This Way and Born This Way was like a specific thing you know it wasn't like a contrived thing like let's look up the definition of contrived Okay, contrived, deliberately created rather than arising naturally or spontaneously. Deliberately created. So, so basically he's like, it wasn't natural. Like it doesn't come natural to them. It's like, yeah, no shit. They speak Korean or Japanese or Chinese, depending on where they, where they go. The concept of twice life is supposed to be like, like I said, them doing different things. Like, them showing like hey we can do like this sick cool like dance unit thing we can also be like sensual like we're not just cute like it shows different array it shows diversity of their talent it shows that they can do breakdowns of dance cover they can do like um break dancing type of things they can speak english songs they can be socially aware of like you know like lgbtq like born this way and stuff like that they they can be sensual like for the dance for you and they can do like um like artistic type of concepts too like for one so i just don't understand this thing of like oh it's so contrived oh it's just so it's so fake it's just so eh. like it's just... i guess to him it felt like that because I guess he did not expect it. I don't know. I, I don't even want to make excuses for this dude. He literally said, the lack of showmanship was most off-putting. If the members aren't consistently strong singers or dancers, fine, but their songs are still impossibly catchy and you'll be and you'll be singing along before the tune ends, even if it's vapid teen pop complete with emotional intelligence of a banana slug. It's not a difficult product to sell. But only Na Young looked like she actually wanted to be there. Moreover, I got no sense of who these women were despite watching them for more than two hours. Okay. Okay, let's break that down real quick. Let's just break that down. <laughs> Woo! I'm ready to expose. Even if it's vapid, teen pop, complete with the emotional intelligence of a banana slug. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna sit here and tell me this isn't the insult to twice? and to k-pop in general this reminds me of when i was a hardcore directioner and when i remember it was like um what year was it i started becoming a fan of one direction in like sixth grade and i think they broke up like freshman or sophomore year for me so i was a fan of them for like like hardcore like three or four years you know what i mean and so it's like it re this gives me flashbacks to when One Direction was at their peak and I was a huge fan of them. And you would constantly have articles being like, oh, these teenagers, these teenage girls, they'll just like any cute dudes that sing, that sing deep, that can hold a tone and all this stuff. And like, 
It's just so insulting. It is so insulting to call twice like teeny bopper pop music. Like, okay, sure. Like it's, it's pop, it's easy listening pop music. That's literally their entire point. And I really feel like this person is just looking at BTS as like the pinnacle or the benchmark of what K-pop is supposed to be. Because BTS, believe it or not, when it comes to how they're managed and how much control they actually have over their music, they are an outlier, okay? They are a literal musical outlier when it comes to the world of K-pop. And even BTS still has like huge restrictions and stuff. I mean, come on, like we're in K-pop, you know? Twice is more than just pop music that lacks intelligence. Just because Twice isn't out here Kendrick Lamar in their fucking lyrics or like out here like being like, you know what, society's fucked up. Korea can suck my dick. Like th that's not normal. Like, <laughs> like you're not gonna see that. Like, you know, I mean, in some cases, BTS and sometimes not even BTS can get away with lyrics and stuff like that criticizing their society because that's how they were brought up that's literally like their first their debut song was called no more dream and it was excuse me and it's and it was about societal pressures in Korea and how I don't have actual dreams but I just want to go after what other people are going after because that's easy that's easy to consume it's not hard it's not harder than than sticking it out in college and doing 95, blah, blah, blah. They're the ones challenging the status quo. And who says that twice isn't either? You know what I mean? Like, but people see what they want to see. I mean, this guy literally is up here, um, you know, saying, well, I saw twice and, you know, I they were flop. It was a flop. Great. You know what? I mean, like, sure, let's go on ahead with that. Um, even though I think it's a fucking lie, but... Hey, you know, like I said, people, people see what they want to see. Um, I don't understand how, the, how Twice songs about love and relationship and wanting more from wanting an actual good, stable, healthy relationship and like loving yourself isn't emotional intelligence. I think he means like it's shallow. Maybe he means it's just like, it's just basic. Maybe that's what he means. I, I don't know. I'm not here to... I guess I am here to dissect his thoughts, but I just, it just, it reminds me of a time where I was just a huge fan of One Direction and people were just shitting on them for no reason. Constantly being like, they're not valuable because they have teeny bopper music. They're not valuable because young women enjoy them. They're not valuable because I don't understand it. They're not valuable because is it anything, anything. Or that young people enjoy them or that I just don't get it and I think it's a flop and I don't understand the nothing. I understand nothing. So instead of trying to understand it, I just hate it. I just don't like it. I just at a certain point it just gets it's too much. It's too much. It's just too much. So the end of the article says <clears throat> I want to die. Um, that's not what it says. It's just my personal feelings. Okay. Perhaps it's a cultural difference. The women being naturally more reserved or instructed to ex to exude a sort of glaze over pageant poise at all moments. Whatever the case, this group felt animatronic. The act was named twice. Let me tell you what this what this dude said. The act was named twice by the powers at JYP because the band is supposed to charm fans through both music and visuals. Both need work. That's the end of that. Um, I hope this video wasn't too long. <laughs> I need that viewer retention, baby. Um, what did you think? Leave a comment. Let me know. I, I thought it was great. I thought it was awesome. It wasn't judgmental. It wasn't, um, it wasn't ignorant. It was just a great article about some random dude not understanding the complexities of what's actually going on and comparing another K-pop group to a completely other K-pop group that's, that's created in a completely different way and meant for two completely different purposes. But, you know. <laughs> 
this is me. I mean, like, what do I know? I'm just like a 20 year old, like K-pop fangirl, right? I mean, like I know nothing, right? I just enjoyed this video and my fangirl rant. Follow, subscribe, <laughs> follow. Yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always posting stupid crackhead shitty things there. I love being a crackhead. It's so much fun and easier than me like a normal human being. Subscribe. I'm going to be coming out. I come out with K-pop videos and fangirl reactions all the time. So if you guys are really interested in that and interested in my opinions, I would love for you guys to subscribe and join the fam. All right. And I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day or whatever time it is where you are. And remember that you're always loved no matter what. What is love? I wanna know, no, no, no. What is love? No, 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 no. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>